Hello, welcome to Code Shake. Here's another video on some simple patterns. Please watch my previous video on simple patterns for better understanding on the control of loops and framing of patterns. And also hit the bell icon if you haven't subscribed and stay tuned for more such videos. Now let's look at our first pattern. There are three essential things to be determined. First, the number of iterations for i and j loops. Second, what value needs to be printed whether i or j third the values of i and j loops let's recap some points i loop is required to control the number of lines and j loop is required to print the values in each line since we have five lines so the number of iterations will be controlled by i and the i loop will run for five times let's decide on what should be printed here whether i or j we can clearly see that the values in each line is changing. So printing J would be suitable. So if J is printed, the values of J would be for the first line will be 1. So J loop will run from 1 to 1. For the second line, J will run from 1 to 3 with an increment of plus 2. J equals to J plus 2. So we will have two values of j, 1 and 3. For the third time i loop runs, the value of j loop would be from 1 to 5 with an increment of plus 2. So we will have j loop as 1, 3 and 5. So we will print 1, 3 and 5. For the fourth iteration of i, j loop will run from 1 to 7 with an increment of plus 2. So we will have the values of j as 1, 3, 5 and 7. And for the fifth and the last line, we will have the j loop to be run from 1 to 9 with an increment of plus 2. So the values of j would be 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So we can see here this value is changing. We can substitute this value with i and the values will range from 1 to 9 with an increment of plus 2. I will run from 1 to 9 with an increment of plus 2. i is less than equals to 9. Save it and run. Here we have a pattern. Now let's look at our second pattern. Here the values in each line are the same. So printing i would be suitable in this case. And the uh, rest of it remains the same. Save it and run. We can see here i will range from 1 to 9 with an increment of plus 2. So the first iteration i will be 1. So i will be substituted here 1 to 1 and will print the value 1 here one time. For the second iteration i will become 3 and 3 will be substituted here and j loop will run two times where the j value of j will be 1 and 3 but will not print the value of j will print the value of i which is 3 two times. Then the value of i will become 5 and j loop will run from 1 to 5 with an increment of plus 2 and the values of j loop will be 1 3 and 5 but we will not print 1 3 and 5 we will print the value of i which is 5 then i becomes 7 and 7 will be substituted here and j loop will run from 1 to 7 with an increment of plus 2 and the values of j will be 1 3 5 and 7 but we will not print the value of j we will print the value of i which is 7 then i will become 9 9 will be substituted here and j loop will run for 5 times and the values of j will be 1 3 5 7 and 9 but we will not print the values of j we will print i which is 9 now let's look at the third pattern we can see here the values are changing in each line so we will print the value of j for the first iteration we can see j will run from 1 to 9 with an increment of plus 2 so the first value of i will be 9 then i will become 7 then 5 then 3 and then 1 so we can say that i loop will run from 9 to 1 with a decrement of minus 2 so i is equals to 9 i is greater than equals to 1 i is equals to i minus 2 that's our third pattern our fourth word pattern is similar we just need to change the value of j to i so that concludes our video thank you